beautiful people, welcome back. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day today, and I hope that you're ready, because for today's video, we are gonna be doing my month and favorites, and it's so interesting for me going into this one, which it's coming to you guys, I wanna say roughly two to three weeks, no, yeah, about three weeks actually after my last one um, because I noticed that for a while my, my favorite videos, they were just inching towards the end of the month and I was like, mm, we gotta we gotta step that back a little because I, I like these to be at the front of the month. I really like them to be kind of kind of how we welcome in and like, you know, the new month, November, December, January, da da da, so on and so forth. And I noticed that when they get near the end of the month, I just, I, all my products start to get all kind of confuzzled and I just, I don't know, I don't like it. I don't like it. So uh, going into this one, like I said, it might be three weeks past the previous, but but uh, that's okay because these are still products I've been loving, I've been using, and we're gonna talk about them regardless. So let's go ahead and, oh, I, what am I saying, Paige? Stop it right now. Um, we have to first, hello, stop, introduce ourselves. If you're new here, I almost forgot to plug all my all my things. Who, who, who am I? I don't know. If you are new here, hello, my name is Paige. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, Seeking Alexandria. I do upload three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They go up right around 7, 7.30ish a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. And also, you know, this, this one's kind of like the big headline or the big, the big situation we need to talk about. Um, if you haven't done so yet, okay, and obviously subscribe, turn your post notifications here, but also while you're doing that, if you wanted to go down in the description box and follow me on Instagram, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Again, if you haven't done so yet, and to those of you that have, I freaking love you so much, okay? I, I, I love and I appreciate you, and I appreciate all of the engagement over there because I have been seeing my Instagram, I, I feel like, especially as of late, okay, this might be a plug for you to follow me, but also I have been working my tuches off, okay, trying to get that thing up and running and moving and really just always, you know, continue integrating new content, fun content, things that we can do and talk about. And not only do I spend like my behind the scenes over there, obviously we hang out in the Insta stories, we go for walks, we make all the jokes, swatch things, we talk about, you know, new stuff I order, stuff that's coming on the channel. You guys are usually the first ones that get to see it. You do the polls and all of that. Um, but also in the feed of Instagram, I've really been trying to add more content even there, whether it's IGTV videos or, you know, um, what are those, the little reels, like I, me, I'm so old. I can't remember. Um, but the little reels that are just fun little 15 second things where I do plus size try-ons and makeup stuff. I'm into plus size fashion, photography, portrait stuff, far away, whatever. I'm just, I'm really trying to upgrade, you know, all of that content and keep it um, something that's new, different, inspiring, something that always has you guys um, looking at it a different way. Like, ooh, ah, ah, like it's just, it's always changing. And I'm really, really enjoying it. So I hope that you take a second. Obviously, like I said, everything will be linked down below. Um, so yeah, t take a look at that if and you haven't yet. And now we can go ahead and scuttle into the video because this this is going to be a shorter video because I, I don't have much uh, much to talk about I will I will admit because last month it was it was a big in and this this month it's 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 a small in so let's just get into it okay so the first thing we're going to talk about you guys I am next level do you see me like poofing up my hair I'm like ooh, like a, like when a bird poofs its feathers um I am next level excited for this first part because I actually got uh, this first little group of items off of Octoly and when I tell you what it is you're going to be like oh my god Paige I'm so happy for you because I got a group of items from from Catrice okay just let that sink in. The thing about this going into it, it is not sponsored, which, although, can I just say really quickly, um, Catrice, if you were, and my people will back me up in the comments, okay, if you were to have someone sponsor or do a sponsored video, it would be this girl, okay, because there is nobody, I don't think, in the cosmos <laughs> that loves Catrice as much as I do. Um, I, I like to be fair. I like to be, you know, as, as even keel, and you guys will hear. I have criticisms, and there are certain things that they sent over that I'm, you know, kind of bleh about, but uh, when it comes to Catrice, I feel like they are one of my favorite drugstore brand. But getting into this whole thing, okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys kind of how, how this whole thing uh, came to be and why it's so great. So as you guys know, as of recent, I've been testing a ton, a ton of foundations. And I just did a wrap-up video. I'm looking at the foundations here. But I did a wrap-up of like my 10 most recent ones, what I think, so on and so forth. And I will link that right up here. But I have been testing so many foundations over the last like 60 or so days, you know, just really trying to get a feel for them for, I'd say about 45 days. And going into winter now in Northern Michigan, I really wanted to just reset like with my foundation and with kind of my my everyday routine and you know go to more often than not for me has always been this foundation over the last several years um, like I've repurchased this exact foundation probably three four times I've actually got an empty one of it literally floating right around here somewhere because I use it so so much I love it the coverage like everything about this foundation it is truly beautiful it is so lightweight but the coverage is full coverage you need a very small amount it spreads onto the skin effortlessly 
just also say, just kind of adding on here, um, normally when I wear this foundation, this is the lightest shade I believe that they still sell at Ulta, because that's where I always get it from, and this is in the shade 010 Light Beige, and this color, if you've watched me for any length of time, you know it is a little bit too dark for me, um, so I always have to make it work with concealer and all the things, and coming through um, this Octoly little thing right here, they actually sent me over 002 Porcelain Beige, and oh, <laughs> you guys, dare I say, this is like my exact color. It's what I'm wearing right now, and this shade... It's it's literally like a dream and I, by the way also I don't know if you guys know this I didn't know this um, but I think it actually says on here you can buy this on um, not only Ulta and CatriceCosmetics.com but you can also buy it um, on Amazon so <laughs> fun facts all around but anyways moral of the story moving on because they did send me other things um, and I know I've just praised this foundation up down left right sideways but the things you need to know it is beautiful texture so full coverage fantastic eleven dollars okay did I mention eleven dollars and I just I freaking love this foundation I love it and honestly any excuse that I have to talk about it to rave about it I will take so they sent me over this which love it so much and also as a as another side note here they sent over this bundle along with that so there were five items total and also in there like if you couldn't tell me <laughs> okay I hit the jackpot I don't care that this is what like seven ninety nine eight dollars this is their dewy glow setting spray and I recommend this all the time every year any any drugstore anything you hear me talk about I will be recommending this spray to you because it gives the most beautiful pressed in finish on your skin while also giving you the most beautiful lit from within glow like it just comes through your makeup it's so stunning it's not weird or greasy it doesn't break apart um and just overall it's amazing which as a side note okay i have two empties sitting right here that's how much i love this um and i always have backups of it on hand because i just i think that the spray is fan fan freaking tastic so highly recommend this as well and uh, by the way these are items too that i have been loving and using this past month like i'm not talking about them just because they sent them i'm talking about them because I legitimately reach for them time and time again and I've been using this a lot as is evidenced by my two empties <laughs> sitting right next to me okay okay in addition to those two items I just want to briefly mention these we're not going to spend forever here I promise I have a couple other items to get to um but as you can tell today's video is just a little Catrice heavy and I'm not upset about it but first things first let's mention this really quickly so this is their Insta Bay eyeshadow palette and this is the eyeshadow palette I'm wearing today I really like this the blendable aspect of it is very nice the mattes in here are very creamy and for me, I think what I'm, I like the most about this is that it's just such an easy, reachable palette, and it's one that I have reached for, like I said, time and time again, just as an easy out-the-door um, option, and what I like about it in terms of the shades and the um, the arrangement that they have is that the shades in here, it has this beautiful one, hashtag Insta, which I'm wearing on the inner corner, and it has this one, hashtag Blogger. These are all hashtag. I probably, probably don't need to say it every time, but those two shades, well, actually, and I'd, I'd say FOMO right here is another one, but those three shades really make it so when you're using this palette you can completely change the look like if you wanted to put in a brown you know through the crease a darker brown on the outer v and then any one of those shades all over the lid you really can have a completely different look day in and day out just by changing out that one shade and that's something that i always look for in a palette like this i love it i love it when it's quick it's easy you can go to it over and over again and uh, it's just it's really nice it's been working for me well so i wanted to mention that and then these two items right here this is the liquid camo high cover concealer and this is the prime and fine poreless blurring primer and this one of everything in the packet this is the only thing I will say that I'm not in love with and I say that just because for me with my pores on my nose um, this is more of like a, a lighter texture a light kind of whipped consistency and stuff like this doesn't work as well on my like really really intense nose pory type situation and so for me this one would probably be a pass it's the only thing that it didn't really work well for me um, but but this concealer, you guys, I know I've talked about this before as well, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time here, but this concealer is really, really beautiful. The texture of it on the skin is so nice. It's very, very lightweight. Um, I do think in terms of, because like, it calls itself a high coverage concealer, and I think if you are someone that you have like more blue, more redness, like stuff, you know, more of the, the discoloration under your eyes, um, it's not super duper full coverage because I noticed that, you know, it's, it's more of a high medium in that area. Also, you know, to the plus side of that, the consistency 
consistency of this is so thin and so lightweight um, that you are able to build the coverage really easily under the eyes without it looking thick or cakey. Also too, the thing with this is that it has more of a matte consistency, like a matte dry down to it. So if you do use this, definitely be mindful of that. Um, but I will say this is actually a more workable matte texture than a lot of other concealers I've tried. And I say that because for me at least, whenever I go in with a super matte, like a hyper matte um, texture under my eyes, it can really dry it out and just be very like texturally unappealing. And I don't find that at all with this. If anything, I feel like it still sets beautifully with powder. It doesn't overly dry, but it still does allow you to build that coverage and have that, um, that movement on your under eye because it's a lightweight concealer. All right, so moving on from there, I have another palette. And this one is something I have been using for the last, what, maybe month or so. And every time I try to talk about it on camera, it mysteriously vanishes. So for this one, I found it. It is here. And that is the Juvia's Place, the Topes by Juvia's Palette. And it is this adorable little six pan palette. It is more on the cool tone side. And I just wanted to throw this out there as a palette. If you are looking for everyday go-to neutrals, run it through the crease, run it all over the lid, super easy to blend, literally done in a matter of minutes. This is that queen, okay? This palette performs so beautifully. And especially if you're someone that you're really drawn to the more cooler tone options like this palette. Let me just, let me just show you a little bit here. Um, I'm going to swatch. I'll just swatch four of them because I have four little, little fingies here. But these shades are so for, like, look, I'm sorry. That is one. Can you even see that? Hello? So freaking buttery. And these shades are so beautiful. And something that I love. Okay, so these are a couple of mattes right here. There's this one shimmery shade. I'm going to build it up a little bit to see if you guys can see it. This shade right here, it has the most beautiful, light, cool undertone to it. It's so sparkly. It's such a beautiful layering shade. And what I have found with this palette is you can literally do anything on your lid. I don't care if it's all matte, all shimmer, build it up with glitter glue, sheer it out whatever you want but you can always take okay this shade right here and just apply it all over your lid and you, again do it light do it heavy however you want but it adds the most beautiful multi-dimensional little cool tone sparkle really all I can say is that yes this is a six pan <laughs> very very neutral cool tone brown palette and when I tell you I have reached for <laughs> this palette so freaking much um that's why I couldn't understand in all of those other videos I could not understand how it went missing because this palette you guys. I, I, I have genuinely, I use this probably, I would say seven days in a row, and I am surrounded by a plethora of other items. I'm always testing palettes, and this one, for some reason, there's something about that sparkle shade and the way that this whole palette just works together, where I was able to use it time and time and time again, and it's just, it's always so easy. It's always so blendable, and it's, I don't know, it's just so, it's such a good day-to-day -day palette that I truly feel like, for the price, I think this is like, what, 10, 12-ish dollars, maybe right in that range, because um, Juvia's Place, quality is great. They're very affordable, and I just, I really feel like <laughs> this is one of those shades that people should just have uh, because it's it's really great and I, I highly recommend. And now that I can finally talk about it and show it to you um, and show you the little dents, like I'm not kidding, the little divots, okay? The divots that I put in this pan right here. I love it so much. Highly recommend. So good. Okay, so next up, mm -hmm, let's just talk about it. I added a little gloss, okay? And I added a little gloss because I realized I had none on and that is a shame because the next item we need to talk about is this gloss from Bite Beauty. Uh, and I talked about this actually in Testing Bite Beauty. I tested a bunch of their stuff, which I will link up here. And this is their Yay Sayer Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Cinnamon Twist. And everything about this, I freaking love. I, I love the color, the texture, the way that it looks, applies. Even that little that little cinnamon kick that you get from it, I freaking love it. I think the thing with this, you know, e even more so than the fact that I do love the consistency. And but by the way, I want to get other shades of this so bad because it is so nice. Like just as a gloss, it's really nice. But the thing about this one, I think too, that really drew me into it is actually the color of it because there's something about this. I don't know if it's the warm tone, if it's the gold flakes, whatever, but this works perfectly with like literally all of my favorite lip liners, my lipsticks, everything that I already reach for. Um, this just works perfect. And like, this was actually a great example. I was wearing a lip, this one right here, it fell on the floor, but uh, this is the Milani Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayon in the shade 110 No Curfew. And this shade right here, it's a little bit of a harder one to match up if you're looking for glosses and liners and whatnot. But anyways, this is what I was wearing, moral of the story, is this color. And I put this over top of it just now. And there's something about the way that this tone of, again, the, the gloss itself, the glitter, whatever. There's something about it that pairs beautifully with every color, even though they definitely don't have the same undertone. They don't have any really, you know, things in common other than the fact that I guess you could say they're near the nude brown. Actually, no. Next to that, this one actually looks more peachy. But the thing about it is that it just pairs beautifully with 
everything I put with it. And I just, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like a universal gloss, but like a brown gold version. And I have been really loving it. Again, 10 out of 10 on the texture and all that, but the color of this is perfect. Um, so I, I very well might have to pick it up in other colors, but I got a feeling this one will always be my reigning champion of greatness. As a side note, I've actually been wearing this a lot too, since how we're here. Um, this is, like I said, that uh, Milani Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayon. And I freaking love Milani. Like as a, as a brand, I feel like they do so many things right. And the texture of this crayon, which I think I actually have it in other colors as well, if I don't miss my guess. This, this one is a newer one. I just picked up this color. But um, th they do so many things right. And the texture of this is a one of them. This is such a soft, like such a weightless matte. And don't get me wrong, okay, because it is a, a softer texture, because it has that more, you know, glidey consistency to it, this isn't going to be foolproof. It's not going to be like a matte liquid lip that dries down and, you know, hangs out all day, lives, lives its life on your face. Um, but... <laughs> That was, that was a weird sentence. Um, but this is the kind of matte texture that if you're sensitive to that, but you still love the look of a matte lip, this is that girl, okay? This, this is gonna be your go-to because you can have the matte lip, you can have that beautiful, just again, matte consistency without the discomfort and without it like being weird and kind of flaking all over the place. Just overall, fantastic, fantastic formula. I'm, I'm actually really glad that I stumbled onto this because I have been wearing this a lot and uh, I really like it. It's, a, a like I said, a beautiful formula. Highly recommend so nice. All right, so another item that I have um, that I want to talk about, and I talk about these, I feel like, <laughs> at least once a year, um, but this is the Buxom Lip Liner in the shade Dolly Danger, and there are so many shades that Buxom has in these, but you guys, <laughs> I use this lip liner. I go through probably one of these a year, um, which is saying a lot because I have roughly uh, 72,000 lip liners, but the Buxom Lip Liners, they are so good. They're so beefy, and this shade specifically, Dolly Danger, it is the most, like, it, it is the most perfect pink you could ever ask for. I feel like it's it's like that nice mid-tone pink. It's not, you know, too hot. It's not too soft. Um, but it's also not too dark, too light. Like, it's just right in that middle camp. And this lip liner, I feel like, just pairs so perfectly with my lipsticks, my my purples, my pinks, my nudes, my glosses. Um, th there's just something about it. These work really well. They stay great. They're easy. They're fast to apply. And it's just, it's, it's a fantastic lip liner. So even though it's not anything new, again, I wanted to mention it because, y'all, I've been wearing this a uh, shit ton. <laughs> okay, like, a uh, record shit ton. Another thing I want to mention, I picked up like four or five of these, something like that, uh, back when Ulta had them on sale. But these are the Buxom Full Force Lipstick. This is in the shade Gladiator, which I already swatched. It's this purple shade. And I wanted to throw this out here while we're, while we're talking about Buxom and their lip stuff, because these I've been reaching for a ton. I actually have, out of all of them that were right here just a couple of days ago, um, this is the only shade I have left, which it's actually a very wearable purple. This is in Gladiator, if I didn't say that. And uh, the thing about these, I wanted to just throw them out there kind of continuing on that conversation we were having because I've been reaching for these so much because they are so freaking comfortable on your lips. You're able to get such like such a beautiful amount of pigment. And, I mean, look at that. The payoff on these is definitely 100% there. And what I love about these is that you get it, but you don't have to sacrifice like the comfort of having nothing on your lips or having like a balm on your lips because these have such a fantastic, like look at that, look at that shine. They just have such a nice satin hydrated feeling on your lips. And I have worn them now in every color I have. I have them in pink, brown, like a brownie nude, and I have it in this. And I feel like they're underrated. I feel like these kind of came in and people mentioned them like a little bit, but then they just kind of went away. And I just wanted to be that person, that reminder, okay, that lover of all things comfortable lipstick, um, to, to tell you that these are still great. Okay, I don't know where I was because I hadn't tried them up until um, the, the sale at Ulta, but these are fan-freaking-tastic. Highly recommend. They're just so... I, I, I can't get past the level of comfort and the shine and like the way, like, hello, look at that freaking it's so good. <laughs> that was an angry face. It wasn't supposed to be angry. It was supposed to be excited, eh, elated even. And I just, I think they're fantastic. So wanted to throw that out there. Highly recommend. Again, Buxom, they kill it on the lip game, y'all. They kill it on the lip game. Hoo, 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 hoo. So good. All right, you guys. So I have one more item we need to talk about. We need to discuss. And by discuss, I mean, please don't hit me <laughs> because I've talked about this 700 times. Um, but you, you guys told me, Paige, if you, you know, grab anything else out of, out of your collection that you've loved before, please tell us. And so I'm only being honest 
exist, and I'm, I'm fulfilling your request when I tell you that I am still a diehard, head over heels, in love with, obsessed with, and wearing on my face today, the Rach Loves Pixie palette. <laughs> I wear this all the time. It is like one of the best freaking formulas I have ever tried at the drugstore for a highlight, and it's actually still available. Obviously, I'll have it linked. It's from Target. They might still have it on their site, the Pixie website. This is actually a collab with Pixie and Rach Loves here on YouTube, and I have talked about this. Like, I want, first of all, I want you to just take inventory of this palette, okay? My entire binding, it's like completely worn off. Even the, um, the stuff on the front, it is busted, okay? This is a busted, crusted, old-ass palette, and I'm okay with that, because I think that seeing well-used makeup and, and well, just, ugh, like, really just devoured makeup and packaging, I think that that's very pleasing, because it means that I loved it, it means that I got my money out of it, and that I really, really enjoyed it. And not only is that, you know, awesome for me, because I've gotten to love it so much, um, but it's also a huge shout-out to the brand and the people and, and what they put so much time into developing and loving and curating. And so, I, I don't know, I wear it like a badge of honor. Like, yeah, my stuff might be busted and crusted and funky looking, but also, look at my face, okay? <laughs> Does my face look busted and fun? Well, don't answer that. It's been a long day. But, like, look at this, okay? You can't, you can't hate this. It's so good. It's so beautiful. Um, and it's, it's all because of this palette. Like, it's, it's, the, the texture of it is so beautiful. And I just, I, I can't say enough good things. Again, I pulled it out of retirement over there. And I really, I feel like there was a purpose. Like, I, I feel like maybe it was just calling me, like, Paige. And so I went and I got it. And I am so glad I did. I've been wearing it, like, every single day. And it, it's just kind of a can't stop, won't stop. Anyways, you guys, that is it. That's the end of the video. I hope that you liked it. Um, sorry, I gotta, gotta push my sleeves up because I'm, I'm dying of a heat stroke, which I know what you're thinking. As in every single video, Paige, you could take off your sweater, and you are right. I could, but I won't, okay? Because I need all the cozy sweater good vibes. I just love cozy sweaters, um, especially this one, by the way. I got it from Target, and it is so freaking soft, wonderful, fantastic if it's available, um, or even if it's not. I'll, I'll link everything I can down below per usual if you want to check it out. Anything you need to care about, earrings, necklace, the whole bit. Also, let me know. Sorry, I gotta also adjust my back pillow. You know, I like, like that lower lumbar support. Um, but let me know your guys' favorites for the month down below. What are some things you've been loving, some things you've been reaching for? Or maybe there's something from this video that you finally took the plunge on, you finally tried it. Oh, just, you know, let me know. What, what are you loving? What are some things you're gravitating towards this here uh, time of year? <laughs> let me know all of it down in the comments. Um, or, or maybe, like, what's your favorite lip product? <gasps> oh, that's a good one. I'm like a little snuffleupagus, man. I just go around hoovering up little lip products, man. I, I love lip stuff so much. Um, so yeah, let me know all of your thoughts anyways down below. Um, as I said at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, which I would really, of course, appreciate. And you guys, I think that that is everything. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Oh my god, look at, oh god, there's nothing better when you're, like, sweating to death than getting your hair all up off your neck. Like, Oh, and again, could I take off the sweater? I could, but I'm not gonna, bitch. I'm gonna baste in this sweater and just take my hair up. <laughs> just get it one way, then the other. Okay, yep, now this way. Oh, yeah. Now this way. <laughs> now this way. <laughs> oh, Paige, you're looking so chic, so fine, so fly. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> Paige, go away.